This week, we are celebrating our one-year anniversary of living aboard by Felicia. And what better way to do that than our most epic sailing we've done to date by cruising through the Exuma Island chain in the beautiful Bahamas. Welcome to Sailing by Felicia. My name is Lisa, and this is my boyfriend, Matt. I spent my life working at a desk trying to cure cancer, and Captain Matt spent his career driving other people's boats, teaching scuba diving, and parasailing. We took the ultimate challenge by selling everything we own, quitting our jobs, buying a boat, and sailing away for good. This is a story how we make a life together on board the majestic 41-foot sailing vessel by Felicia. We're in Nassau, Bahamas, where we meet friends that were aboard the cruise ship. Afterwards, it's time to plan the next leg of our journey, get provisions, do a quick oil change and some maintenance, and then we're off heading south. Today we're sailing upwind. The boat handles it great, but for some reason the autopilot doesn't like to keep us on course when we're sailing this close to the wind. So for the next six hours, I'll be hand steering. Here at Pigs Beach, uh, we're gonna sail on to Anchorage. We just saw a couple of dolphins which sealed the deal. We're definitely gonna anchor right here. And then we're gonna drop the dinghy and check out the area. We take a quick dinghy ride to check out town and then head out to watch sunset and enjoy a couple of local beers. Then the next morning at sunrise, we head into Pig Beach so we can have the place all to ourselves. We only had a few carrots to feed the pigs, so we tried to feed the mom of the baby piglets. This way she'll be strong and healthy enough to take care of them. After we see the pigs, it's time to continue our way south for Georgetown, the last stop in the Bahamas. Smack the backside, hit the lip, and get pitted. <laughs> oh, those waves. So many boats. We spent several days in Georgetown waiting on weather to continue sailing south. Our favorite hangout was a local beach bar called Chat and Chill. They have a mountain of conch shells that are in the ocean that attract stingrays and the stingrays are really friendly to people. You can even pet them. Hey. Look, sandpaper. Yeah. <laughs> you think they're gonna be slimy, but it's so tough. It's like a shark. Yeah, I bet I feel like a dolphin. Do you think these are females? I don't know. You can only find out if you put your finger inside their blowhole. The blowhole. Not the females. <laughs> I just made that up. Is there a joke to be? Ah, it's touching me. It's <laughs> touching me. Hey, I'm not gonna show the crocodile. It's not the time to think about that. But yes, don't get touched by that. It's so slimy. It's sticking to me. Hit, hit, hit. Alright, stand by. We sail away from Georgetown and sail into a totally new experience overnight sailing. This will be our first overnight passage, and then the next week we're going to do four more overnights to complete 500 miles to arrive in the Dominican Republic. 
Thank you so much for watching Sailing by Felicia. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you want to help support our channel, the best things to do are just like the video, leave a comment, and if you really want to support our channel and help us keep making great videos, please go visit our Patreon page. Any amount contributed helps keep wind in our sails. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.